Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing good and be safe. So as you have seen the topic, many of you were requesting on two. So I have attended a strictly attending school in my 11th and 12th along with coaching. So I think I could share my experience on how did I manage it barely. But uh, I think I can give my experience so that you can learn something. And also, I'm really sorry for all the state board students seeing this because I have not been to a state board. Uh, I was in CBSE board. So I have not been in that situation. So I really can't tell because I know in state boards, some languages are different and it's a little tough. So I'm really sorry. I can't tell you about that because I haven't been into that situation. I would like to remind uh, you guys that life mein padhai hai na ki padhai life hai I'm not promoting ki tum log padhai chhod do ya don't be serious about it but you should know how to strike a balance between life and ca uh, career because you have to build a life that's wholesome give some time to recreation as a refreshment from your studies because uh, while you take a break you actually reset your brain to accommodate more information and actually work at its maximum potential again in the another cycle. So please do remember to uh, carry out your hobbies that can be anything. It's singing, dancing or uh, graphic designing and like many things. Also coding. Well, I've been noticing these days how coding is emerging a lot in, among younger students. And if you're interested in coding, then I have to tell you that Geeks for Geeks is organizing a bi wizard tournament for all those coding geeks out there. So this contest is being held on 26 January in online mode from 6 to 7.30 and you will be able to test your coding skills. Is that you'll be given two coding questions and 20 quiz questions that you have to solve. Well, the interesting part is that you can stand a chance to win prizes up to rupees 5 lakhs. That includes gaming laptop, iPad Air, Bose headphones, tablets and smart bands. Not only this, but the top 100 students will receive a letter of recommendation from the CEO of Geeks for Geeks and also all their paid courses for free. Well, in addition to that, if you think you can invite more students from your school, then you can drop an email at which I'll be giving in the description box and minimum of 50 students should register and then among those top three can stand a chance to win more prizes that is wireless earphones, tablets and smart bands. Well, all of the instructions will be given in the description box and the link to register and also the email. So do check it out. And in any of you watching this and you are interested in, uh, interested in coding, then I think that's a very good opportunity for you to test your skills out and also get a free course so you can build more onto that. And also these days coding is emerging as a good freelancing options so you can see to it. Well about managing school with coaching. Now I'm not here to give you a time routine or a timetable kind of thing because that's very personalized. Only you can make that. But I can give you some tips that can help you in making that. So uh, I was in a strictly attending school and it was from 7 to 1 and I used to come home at 2 and then going for coaching at 4 o'clock, actually 3 o'clock if I had to ask some doubts and coming back home at 8.30 and then barely getting time for self-study. So how did I manage to do questions and I literally how did I manage? I'm thinking right now, how did I manage? But okay, uh, let me tell you. Uh, coaching I used to give attention in coaching like the maximum I could because there was a little bit exhaustion, but still somehow I managed. I used to give my full attention in coaching and then in school I used to solve questions with my friends. And I think if you are having a study group in school that's very beneficial you all can solve the questions together and it will be very fun tumko pata bhi nahi chalega tumse 100 150 questions kab ho jate the so that was the case with me i used to do this second of all i didn't care about my image in the school if i had to study physics and it's a period of biology then i would just sit on the last bench and i'll study physics pakda gaye pakda gaye i don't care uh, complain uh, likha gai diary mein, I don't care because my parents didn't care because they know that I am studying and I will suggest this only if you are studying sincerely not ki bas haan maine suggest kar diya aise aise karna no not at all if you are sincerely studying then you shouldn't care about your image in the school because once you clear these competitive exams trust me the same school will come and maala chadhayenge tumko now many of the students would be attending school online 
I think that's a very plus point because you don't have that factor of exhaustion of going to school, then coming back and then again going to coaching. So that would be very, very, very exhausting. So if you are into studies, then tum camera mat on karo, tum audio mat on karo. Say that there's a signal problem or anything, network issue, anything, like literally anything. And you can study whatever you want to. Except I would suggest please uh, pay focus on uh, English or any language subject that's going on. Because if you hear a story once in class from teacher, then I think that would be more helpful. Tumko dubara se kahani shayad padhni bhi na padhe and you can write the story in your own words in the exams. Well, honestly speaking, now the syllabus for these competitive exams and boards is not very different. And moreover, these competitive exams have become more NCRT based. So now you don't have that burden of studying an ex extra reference or hard book like that. And also the term one objective based board exams. Don't you think that things are working out in your way? If your aim is for a competitive exam like NEET and J, then you must be practicing a lot of MCQs. And then writing subjective is a little tough. But if you are getting a portion of your syllabus in objective form, then I think that's a plus point. So the conclusion is that if you are studying sincerely for the competitive exam that you're preparing for, be it NEET or J, then scoring marks in boards would not be that tough. So please don't hype that up. Since the syllabus is same and moreover both are coming NCRT based and if you're preparing for your boards nicely then tumhara command NCRT pe would be very good. The only thing that you need to understand is how to write answers in subjective form and that I'll tell you. So as you can see here's the topic human genome project. Now I start marking the key points. Key points are nothing but the important points of those paragraphs that you have to write in the short note. For example, here I'm starting with the small introduction of DNA about sequencing and all. And then I start marking about the human genome project that was a very ambitious project used to sequence DNA and was launched in the year 1990. Similarly, I go on marking and mark all the points that I feel is important. For example, the cost, the books, the computation needed and the goals of HGP extra. Now the space given on the side of the page, you can write all the points here. You can either leave it marked or you can write so that you can see it more clearly while revising and you can go on writing the points until you have collected all the points together. So here you can see the points that I have collected and now if in exam it is asked write a short note on HGP and what are the goals of HGP. I have written the short introduction about DNA and the four points. I have combined two three points together and written in four points and then the goals of HGP. Now if the question is of five marks an examiner will search for the four important points and goals of HGP that will count for one marks and similarly counting all this you will get five out of five if the question is of five marks. If I have to say it in one line then write less, write neatly and write in bullet points. Nobody is interested in the story that you have written in the paper. The examiner will look only for the key points and if he finds those key points then he'll give you marks. Now the materials that are necessary. There are only two materials that you have to see. That is NCRT and the previous year questions of boards. Now in NCRT, especially for bio and chemistry, do all the examples in text question, the back exercises, because same questions can be repeated. And so in NEET and J, because you have seen how examples have been repeated in the paper, actually in this year too. And as for physics, I would suggest, please do all the examples. You can leave NCRT back exercises because those are tough and utte tough questions boards mein nahi aate hain. But you can surely do all the examples. And the PYQs. Now PYQs here play a very important role. So this is the book from Arihan publication, the PYQs. You can use Oswal 1 too. So they have given all the questions. And trust me, if you solve these questions, you will get an idea how questions come. And also it's a very good practice too for theoretical type of questions. It will surely help you in need too. Now coming to these language papers, example English, Hindi or any other regional language that you're given and if it's a literature, because in my case it was English literature, so uh, nobody asks you to write the exact same words that are mentioned in the storybook. Once you know the storyline, you can write it in your own words and that's what the teacher wants. 
प्लीज डोंट यूज एक्सेसिव वर्ड्स और वेरी टफ वर्ड्स इन इंग्लिश यू कैन राइट योर आंसर इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज एंड ऑनेस्टली टीचर लुक्स फॉर दैट ओनली वेल टैलेंट की कमी कहीं नहीं है दे आर मैनी स्टूडेंट्स हु कैन सिक्योर वेरी वेल इन बोर्ड्स अलॉन्ग विद द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड ट्रस्ट मी नॉट एवरी वन इज लाइक दैट एंड आई वॉज इन टू माई मेन फोकस वॉज सिक्योरिंग गुड रैंक इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड नॉट सिक्योरिंग हंड्रेड परसेंट इन बोर्ड्स बट फॉलोइंग द अब टिप्स स्पेशली राइटिंग नीटली एंड राइटिंग इन पॉइंट्स मार्किंग दो की वर्ड्स बिकॉज द एग्जामिनर विल जस्ट लुक फॉर दीज दो की पॉइंट्स एंड इफ यू आर राइटिंग इन पॉइंट्स यू आर राइटिंग इन टेबल्स यू आर राइटिंग इन कॉलम्स यू आर राइटिंग इन डायग्राम्स दैन द एग्जामिनर विल थिंक दैट यू नो हाउ टू राइट अ पेपर एंड फॉलोइंग अब टिप्स आई मैनेज टू सिक्योर नाइन्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट इन बोर्ड्स and trust me it wasn't on my focus i literally studied just one month before boards and i was able to do that and so can you so please don't hype this boards preparation up a lot and well let's be honest that checking in boards is very lenient from your own school i managed to secure 60% in my school but i secured 93.6% in my boards so you can see like how lenient the marking is and it actually is so please don't be scared that much that how you'll manage both of these you surely can one more thing that please pay focus in your practical classes like in chemistry and biology and physics because uh, you can practice those experiments only in a lab in a school so please pay focus there maintain your practical copy and trust me if you are not totally blank like you don't know anything in vivo or anything you would still get 29 out of 30 like that's my personal experience बट प्लीज लाइक अगर तुम पढ़ रहे हो अच्छे से यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन दैट एग्जाम ने आस्क इट्स नॉट दैट टफ एंड जस्ट प्लीज पे फोकस ऑन द प्रैक्टिकल्स दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वो तुमको केवल स्कूल में ही देखने मिलेंगे वेल या आई थिंक दोज वर द पॉइंट्स दैट आई कुड शेयर फ्रॉम माई एक्सपीरियंस आई होप दोज हेल्प इन सम वे ऑर दी अदर बट जस्ट रिमेंबर एन सी आर टी इज द की and ncert is the key for both boards and competitive exams so please focus on that and trust me it's not that difficult uh, securing marks in boards and you will and agar tumko 70 80 90 percent aate bhi hain so if your parents are not happy with that but if you can crack a competitive exams trust me nobody will even ask what your boards percentage were except that you have to pass there Well I hope I was able to clear some of your doubts and that was my experience things that I could tell out of my experience and thank you so much for watching and I would see you in the next video till then stay safe bye